we just came out of a movie that left my boy rejuvenated. Till it's cool, just cool, into the mouth. Nice. We're talking about Dune, starring Timmy Chalamet, uh, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. Uh, Jason Momoa, Oscar Isaac. Rebecca Ferguson. Rebecca Ferguson. Uh, Dave Batista. You know, you, you got everybody. You got all the big names in here. All the A-listers are in this epic movie. It's this three-hour epic movie. Uh, apparently it's like 2.35, but... 2.35? Two, two days and 35, like what? Yeah, I mean, that's how, that's two, how far, like, two. That movie felt like that shit was never gonna end, bro. I, I literally thought we, oh, I, I was I was writing a letter to my family, so I feel like, I, 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 oh my God, I feel like I was going on a trip back in like the 1800s, like, okay, I'm gonna be at sea for a couple months. I'll be back in like, I don't know. Okay, so the, the movie follows uh, Timothy Chalamet uh, playing Paul. <laughs> Play so Paul! Much, Play Paul and his family are sent to, it was Erequist, that was the name of the planet, uh, to... Okay, once more, where are we going? Uh, take part in a refinement, uh, and, uh, obtaining the substance known as spice. <laughs> no, there's <laughs> the too many else in your fucking sentence. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Basically, there's a lot of treachery, there's a lot of politics, and there's a lot of explosions that happen after that hap uh, and you know, it's a, it's a whole adventure. And it felt like I was watching a novel come to life, like a novel I would read as a kid in school. It felt like what I would visually see in my head. A lot of the times you watch Harry Potter, it's like, oh, this is not what I imagined in the book. I didn't read Dune, but if I was reading, reading, if I, if I did read as a child, this is... This is what I would imagine it looking like. Yeah, but other than the visuals, this movie was a whole snore fest, bro. And, and I understand this is going to be a part two to this movie, so I understand they probably did this for just a build up, I guess, to a whole crescendo in the second part. But even the fight sequences were garbage. Like, literally, there was only like one good fight sequence, and that was with Jason, Mom Jason Momoa. Other than that, Everything was just so slow. It was slow and meticulous. Not even meticulous, tedious. I felt like I was like, I think paint drying would be a better wow. like pastime than watching this I movie. Th I thought you were culture. This movie is not for young adults. It's for adults. It's for grown. Hey, hey, hey! I don't need you to pat my back. I'm a grown ass man. Parents, if your kid can't go to sleep, take them to see this movie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> take them to see this movie. You should because they deserve to see a spectacular treat. This movie was 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 a good time. Is it for everybody? I will say n no. You literally had a hard time listening to the plot. I, I I was closing my eyes a little bit at some points, but not not thought. But because there there were sometimes I was like, yo, you gotta, y'all I I y'all really gotta kind of speed this up a little bit. But like I I was invested. I was invested in the characters. I was invested in, well not Paul. Paul is the most generic. Paul was the only interesting character here! Character, Paul was an interesting character, but his name! I don't understand how everybody has all these wild names. Shukui Duncan Idaho is an interesting name. Yes! Duncan Idaho is an interesting yes. name. Okay. Because his parents were on crack when he named him that. So like uh, at least, at least uh, that's really interesting. Really. Duncan Idaho, like you you might get like you might get uh, roasted for the rest of your life, but at least you have an interesting name. But Paul? Hi, I'm Paul. But I will say it does kind of feel like a part one out of three movie because there's a lot of stuff that's shown in this movie that's shown that's supposed to be future stuff. Or like kind of in like part two and three. And I'm like looking at that like, man, that looks like where the real interesting stuff happens. So this is the origin story. This is the origin story. So don't expect like you're gonna get like a full story from beginning to end. You do get a a uh, uh, beginning, middle, end is just maybe not, you know, your conventional. Because this movie is not conventional. Like the way it does its 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 climaxes and its arcs, this movie is it, it has its own pacing that is very unique. And I haven't seen another movie that has quite uh, uh the the kind of pacing this does. For a two and a half hour movie, yes, you might say it was slow and it was kind of boring at point. Like you you found it boring at points, but mm -hmm. I was engaged and I I liked that it didn't do everything normal it was different from other movies the way it paces out its story overall tell me tell me tell uh, overall what did you think of the movie the good the bad and what's your score uh the good visuals are amazing 
Um, I like the what's a plot point I can say that. Um, but the visuals are amazing. That's part of the only good thing I'm about to say about it. Bad pacing is just slow as hell. Uh, characters weren't all that interesting. Even like the main protagonist. That, that's pretty much it. I get it's like a two out of five. Mm. I mean, Ow. I I'll talk about the fact that that's it's. Insanity. I'll chalk it up to being a part one, which is the reason why they just did the world, what, they suck the world building part. But other than that, this movie did not grab me whatsoever. You? I like the the great acting across the whole board. Everybody in this movie was was acting their butt off, and like it was it was you know uh, I like 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 you like like the visuals. They were amazing. I don't think the CGI was good in some points, like for the smaller stuff. But obviously for stuff like the worms, the CGI was incredible. But for usually the CGI was alright, but the visuals still amazing. Uh-huh. Um, the music, I found it to be very grating in parts. Like the the, the music, I was kind of like I was I was clawing up my sequel like yo you gotta, you gotta chill with these horns you gotta chill with this what the hell was that the bad i would say this movie the the bad in this movie is that there wasn't more of it uh i i would like to see more and i can't see more right now i, w- I wish i could see uh, how much they pay you bro yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what i'm trying to figure out bro. All no, right, because like, I, like, cause I want to see what happens next. So okay, the bad to me is like, there was a lot of setup in the beginning, and while it was necessary, it's still a lot of exposition that's just being told to you, that's being talked to you. So I, I would say the bad is that there's a lot of exposition, and it could be slow. So it may not be for people that just want to get in there and get a, like a, a big action sci-fi movie because. You'll get that in parts, but you, there, there's a lot of depth here that you have to kind of go through to get to that. Um, but overall, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a five. Uh, no, sorry, four. <laughs> you looked at me. What if I did give it five? What? I know it's your what? opinion, man. I can't. Argue I, I with give that. it four out of five sandworms. God, you know, this man was what? Wow. You're looking at me for the fraction of five. I was like five. I was like yeah. all right. So you know, tell us what. what what do you think of uh, the Dune series, the, the books, the novel, and like, uh, uh, tell us what you, what's your favorite sci-fi movie in the comments. Uh, like, share, subscribe.